Euclid Sakalotos has been named the replacement as finance minister for the departed Yanis Varoufakis. Departed, of course, in name only. He's still very much with us. I want you to tell me more about Mr. Tsakalotos. What do we know about this guy, and how is he going to be different from Varoufakis, who was a controversial man, perhaps even a lightning rod for some Europeans? Well, what we probably have from Euclid Sakalotos, whose appointment was just been officially confirmed in the last few minutes, is more of a change in style than of substance. He's a very buttoned-down, low-key guy, inoffensive in his personality. Varoufakis didn't get on very well with a lot of European partners. But in terms of his politics, in terms of his ideology, Sakalotos is very much cut from the same cloth. He is a, a stalwart member of Syriza, the left-wing ruling party here in Greece. And so this is really a change in tone rather than a change in the substance behind it. Does the fact that he's an Oxford man count for anything with the European creditors? Well, it is ironic, actually, that he has pretty much the same educational biography as George Osborne, uh, the Chancellor of the United Kingdom, uh, who is someone with whom he probably agrees with very, very little. <laughs> But yes, of course, he has plenty in common with some of the people he's going to deal with. But then again, so did Varoufakis. Uh, Varoufakis is an Australian citizen. He's employed by the University of Texas. So uh, there, there is a, a degree of cultural overlap here. But at the end of the day, Syriza and its leaders are very, very left-wing. And that will produce problems with the Germans and others.